Hi, my name is Nick, AKA The Coffee Detective, and today we're gonna to have a look at the Kona Coffee Maker, uh, which before we even get into coffee, I just wanna say that I think this is the most beautiful coffee maker I've ever seen in my life. It is all glass, I just love its elegance, I love its shape, I love its design. It goes back to 1947, the design, just after the Second World War. And uh, I think they have it in various museums and galleries just because it's such a beautiful thing. And we'll see how this is going to work as we start to make some coffee. Now, one thing I want to point out is that there is no filter. There's no paper filter. There's no wire mesh. What there is, is this little fella. Now, I'm hoping we can get some uh, half decent uh, focusing on here because this little surface here on the glass is slightly mottled. It's not completely flat. That combined with the fact that we're using a coarse grind of coffee gives us, you'll see how it works, a little bit of space for water to go through but not big enough for the coffee grinds to go through. So it, it's kind of filtered by the space created by that slightly mottled uh, surface of glass there. The, the whole thing is just beautifully, beautifully done. So how does this little puppy work? So we've got a burner here, we've got, this is where the water goes and eventually where the coffee will appear and we'll pour the coffee from there and that kind of sits in this nice little collar here. All right, so how are we gonna do this? First off, I have pre-boiled some, some water. So we're gonna put that into the lower chamber here. It's about, I got about 500 milliliters, about a half a liter here. Now I'm going to remove the cap off the little burner down here. So no, uh, Do not need to plug this in. This is very old school. I just want to make sure I'm getting a flame here, which I am. Probably shouldn't be doing that with my finger. So now I'm going to put the burner under the water and it'll kind of bring it back to the boil and keep it at the boil. Over here, I have got about 25 grams of uh, coffee and it's ground this about the same coarseness that I'd use in a French press so so coarser than I'd use in a drip brewer and like I say that is that is part of the process and I'm just going to pour that in here there we go and now what we do is we wait a bit for this to come back to the boil so I'm going to kind of pause the video for a moment because this is a lot, last time I did this it took two or three minutes so rather than watching water boil or come to the boil, I uh, will return in a couple of minutes. Okay, and we're back. We've just got a little bit of a boil happening here and now you will uh, see a little bit of magic. I'm gonna move this part from, it's gonna display resting area. We're gonna put it in here. There's a little rubber gasket here. I'm gonna give it a little twist to seal it. And then through the magic of thermodynamics, we're gonna see the pressure build in here and you can see water beginning to rise there. What's happening is the pressure is pushing up that little glass plug in there. It's just raising it up enough for the water to come up from the bottom of the chamber into the top chamber. And that will continue. Now, ordinarily, I would now leave this for a couple of minutes because I want the water and the ground coffee to stay in contact. Uh, but again, just for the sake of brevity and to keep this uh, simple, I'm now going to pretend that a couple of minutes have gone by and I'm gonna put this little glass cap on top of the burner and then we'll see the other half of the process, the reverse part of the process. So. The light is now out, the burner is off, and slowly, so you can see there's water here, so you, what you're actually doing up here, you saw me add quite a bit of coffee, because when the water starts coming down, when coffee starts coming down, it'll be diluted by the water that remains in the bottom chamber there. 
and here we go now this the pressure has changed uh, the coffee is beginning to drip down from the top into the bottom okay I paused that for a bit because it was taking a while for the coffee to come down from the top chamber into the lower chamber but it is now done I've just got the damp coffee grinds in the top now all the liquid is now in the bottom chamber there so I'm just going to take this off now put it in put it back there and now I have my coffee there and basically it's my coffee jug so I take my I'm ready to go and it just lifts off and I can now pour myself a nice cup of coffee so like I said at the beginning what I love about this is just the elegance of the whole system uh, it is just so beautifully designed uh, I love the fact that you can make a cup of coffee with the water and the grinds touching nothing other than glass no metal no plastic no rubber no vinyl nothing uh, it's a hundred percent glass and, and that I think if you're looking for the best possible taste from your coffee um, you can't do better than that so I just love it I love the design I love the simplicity now is this as simple as making a cup of coffee with uh, a French press or a single serve coffee maker no it's not uh, if you if you want to use a coffee maker like this you've got to enjoy the process you've got to love the way that it works and love the look of it so that it becomes part of an experience that goes beyond simply making a cup of coffee okay I hope you enjoyed that